Darwin is a small northern town in the UK with a big history. Come join us as we discover Darwin. The origins of the name Darwin go back many centuries. It's believed to be derived from the word Deerwent, which means river where the oaks grow. The town is located in Lancashire, sandwiched in between the towns of Blackburn and Bolton, and it's overlooked by Darwin Tower, which is a jubilee tower which was built for Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. We have a separate video about the tower on our channel. The River Darwin runs through the town centre. It goes underground in parts and it flows on towards Blackburn where it eventually joins the River Ribble. Darwin has a long history of textile manufacturing, particularly cotton weaving. In the 17th and 18th centuries, handloom weaving or Czech cotton cloths and calicos were a major industry in Darwin. India Mill Chimney is a famous Darwin landmark. It was built between the years 1859 and 1871. The chimney was designed to resemble an Italian bell tower or campanile and is said to be inspired by the bell tower in St Mark's Square in Venice. The chimney is 303 feet tall and 24 feet square. At the time of its completion, the India Mill chimney was the tallest and most expensive chimney in the country. The foundation stone it rests on was one of the biggest ever quarried in Britain. The chimney was originally crowned with a 20 ton cast iron capping that formed a balustrade, but this was removed during World War II and melted down to produce ammunition. Famously, steeplejack Fred Dibner worked an India Mill chimney and was filmed climbing it as part of his TV series. In 1882, the first tram route between Blackburn and Darwin was opened. By 1885, eight miles of track had been laid. 70 horses, eight horse cars, 16 steam cars and 14 steam engines were bought to run on the lines and were operated by 50 men. In 1903, two tramway waiting stations were opened in Darwin of course, one was for the ladies and one was for the gentlemen. And there are two similar waiting stations at the other end of the line, which are now located outside Blackburn Corporation Park. On September the 20th, 1926, the number 11 Corporation tram from Hoddleston was making its first journey of the day to the town centre in Darwin when it ran out of control on the steep descent down Soodle Road. The tram was unable to take a sharp bend at the bottom of the hill and crashed into a billiard hall on Bridge Street. The accident killed one passenger and another passenger died from his injuries the following day. Seven other people, including the driver and the conductor, were also injured. Darwin has a Victorian Market Hall which was established in 1871. It has lots of different stalls inside. You can get greeting cards. There's a butcher's, a cheese stall. Uh, greengrocers and lots of other items that you can find in there. Darwin Live is a free two-day music festival held each year over the second bank holiday in May. The main stage is built outside the town hall and other smaller stages usually based around the town in pubs and bars. The festival has, a, has attracted artists such as the Buzzcocks, China Crisis, Toya, Paul Young, Sham 69, Electromantics and other artists, as well as showcasing some of the local bands. The stunning stainless steel Spitfire Memorial sculpture, which was unveiled on Remembrance Day 2012, was overseen by MTech and manufactured by the WEC Group Training Academy Apprentices. Darwin was the smallest town in the UK to finance a Spitfire during World War II. The motivation behind the sculpture 
is to recognise and remember the massive contribution that the people of Darwin made when they managed to raise the cost to purchase a Spitfire for the RAF. In the year 1931, there was a film which featured Norman Wisdom called There Was a Crooked Man, which in large parts was shot in Darwin. Also in 1931, Darwin played host to one of the most famous men in the world at the time, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, who led the Indian campaign for independence from Great Britain. He was invited as they wanted him to see for himself the hardship being suffered by the East Lancashire textile industry, which had been decimated by the Indian independence movement's boycott of British goods. Trouble had been expected, but he received a warm welcome from locals. Darwin suffered heavy losses of war dead during World War I and World War II, and their sacrifice is remembered in the memorials at Boldventure Park, Darwin Cemetery, and by the tram waiting stations in the town centre. If you're ever visiting, Darwin has some excellent parks. Boldventure Park, Whitehall Park, Ashton Park and Sunnyhurst Wood to name but a few of the lovely parks in Darwin. And if you're interested in the history, I can recommend a visit to the Heritage Centre, opening times are above. And it's right next door to the Weatherspoons, which is in a beautiful old building. Thanks for joining me, I hope I've given you a little taster of the town's history. Bye for now and take care.